Alright, so what do you think is the difference between both of these renders? Well, it's actually quite simple. The one on the left is using a single light source. It is all the way up here somewhere and it is a lot stronger than the light source in this one. Yeah, this one is also using the exact same light source up here. It's just weaker, less strength, but it's also using a couple of others. So let's get to the actual scene. Alright, so we're going to begin with talking about this light source, which is a single point. And the reason I'm not a big fan of it is because it sort of, like, just removes details. It makes the image flat. You don't know what you're supposed to be looking at because the background is just as bright as the foreground. By the foreground, I mean like the object that you basically want your viewer to be looking at. Um, so, how do you fix this? And... Before like we actually fix this, let's go to the top view and talk about this shadow over here. The shadow is going to be cast, well, obviously the opposite direction, wherever the light is. So if the light is over here behind the camera, the shadow is going to be like this. And that removes even more emphasis and stuff from the picture. So for example, if I just move this over here, the light is behind, all of a sudden the front just looks flat and bad. But if I just move it back, then we don't have a lot going on at the back, you know, like there's no shadows and stuff. So the simplest solution to this is just to use different light sources. Now I'm going to undo and move the light back to where it's supposed to be, which is just above the origin. And I'm going to hide this. So I'm going to hide this lamp and I'm going to unhide this one. Okay, so before I actually talk about why I'm using different color lighting over here, I am just going to duplicate this entire collection and just hide it really quickly. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of the colors from these things because honestly that would do... It would be a lot easier to explain the reason I'm using colored lighting if I can first explain why I'm using three different light sources. Anyway, so first of all, let's just look at this up here. And you'll notice that, okay, this is at 100 strength, while this one, the one that I hit at first, was at 300 strength. And the reason for that is quite simple. It's because I'm not using this light source as the primary light source in my scene. If I turn this off right now, say zero, the object is still visible. Uh, I didn't lose any details and the scene looks a lot darker now and I'm fine with that. So the reason I can, you know, the reason I can do this is because I added these two light sources. Obviously this one is, let's just hide it for now. It's a lot softer light. It's basically adding, you know, more details along the underside, just a little bit. Okay. It's just adding light along the bottom. But not by a lot, because if I just move it down over here, it would add a lot more light, but I don't want that, uh, because I will color it later. Anyway, um, this one, this tiny one, is where most of my light is coming from. So if I just turn this to zero, okay, the scene is way too dark now. If I turn this to 10, all right, it's fine, but it's still not lit enough. That's why I just have it at 50. And apart from that, pretty much all of the other light sources just don't matter at all. Because I can hide this and I can hide this. And okay, my object is still lit enough. But the primary light sources that are actually highlighting this object and its different parts are just these two. The one up there straight up does not matter. So I'm just going to change this back to 100 strength now so I can talk about... The light sources just a little bit more so you'll see like this one has a larger area around it than say this one and the reason for that is quite simple i want the shadows to be softer so if i just move this back down you'll see the shadows just get sharper and compare this to one okay one second let me just come over here okay so zero look at this sharp edge over here one the sharp edge is gone okay um 
that's the whole point of like this being uh sort of like a dim light the strength is only 15 it's not really that high so i don't want sharp shadows with this i just want this to highlight different parts that this light over here is failing to highlight secondly um this one will just determine the ambient color in the room so if i, if I just want my room to be more purplish greenish whatever i can just do this um, this is not going to add a lot of light to my object because these two are overwhelming compared to this one just purely because of the distance so that's also a nice trick that you can use so all of a sudden you want your room to be more reddish well go ahead you can easily do that you want your room to be greenish go ahead your object isn't gonna turn green just because you turned your light green and honestly that is pretty much it for white colored lights so let's just quickly turn this off and go over here now we have our colored lights and you can easily tell the difference between both of them so i'm just going to quickly render both of these and then show them separately so brb okay so let's just quickly talk about all four of these renders the first one it's purely flat the white light is all the way up there, it's a single light source, and honestly not a lot is happening in this picture. I prefer all three of these more than this one. The second one, this is the pure white one. All three of these light sources are white in that one, so one, two, three, they're all white. Nothing special is going on. I prefer these two to this one. Now, the reason I prefer these two is because the edges don't look as sharp as they do over here. Now, that might be because I kind of forgot to turn on denoising. Let's just not talk about that. But genuinely, I feel like it's more to do with the actual colors. For this one, the two colors that are actually working together are the blue and red ones. So, this light over here, one second, this one, it is blue. And then this stays red, and that basically works together to give me this amazing looking, not amazing looking, it's not perfect, well, something that looks like this. And for the next one, I basically do the other two primary colors, primary colors, there we go, green. So green and red work together as well, and they give me this, obviously like a softer green, not this insane amount. Yeah, so they basically give me this, and yeah, it has something to, it doesn't have something to do, it actually has to do with color theory, like, colors are this amazing thing where our brains are really good at figuring out, okay, this works well together, and this looks garbage. Yeah, our brains are amazing like that. Let's, let's just leave that for another day. I just wanted to talk about this for a little bit. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.